All right, so, so like I said in the previous video, we're gonna start talking about STL. And um, STL stands for Standard Template Library. It's kind of the de facto when it comes to data structures and algorithms in C++. They're built right into the language. Uh, as I said in a previous video, there's also Boost, and I'm gonna start putting together materials to talk about Boost as well, because a lot of people, like the EOS team, use the Boost libraries. Um, for to do certain things that maybe the STL library doesn't support or doesn't have. Um, so the STL li libraries are kind of, they consist of these four things that you'll see on the wiki page. Containers, iterators, algorithms, and functions. Um, containers are various different data structures, linked lists, arrays, hash maps, things like that. Iterators are very similar to pointers in that they give you access into these data structures they usually, the containers are usually implemented with iterators to give you insight into the data. There are algorithms for sorting, searching, things like that. And then there's just the function type, which uh, I've noticed these compiled languages are starting to try and get more and more functional. I've never used the functions in a project in C++. So I've kind of toyed around with them, but I imagine that's what they're there for. Um, if we just kind of go through this list, I'll point out the ones that I'm familiar with, which are typically the ones that are most used in the STL, um, and just kind of say what they are. You can look up this wiki pa Wikipedia page in much the same way I can if you really, really want to dive deep on these. Um, there's the vector, which is, a, like it says, a dynamic array. It can pull in more memory as needed. There's the list. It's a doubly linked list. Um, S list I've actually never used. I didn't even know it existed in the SDL. There's the double-ended queue, allows you to pull in from the front and the back of a queue. There's the queue, which is you know the obvious thing. It's a queue, as you'd expect. A stack. A priority queue is the heap. Um, I, so you'll see, like, you'll be able to pull elements from the top of the heap. Um, they stay in sorted order based on you know like a comparison function that you pass into the priority queue. There's the set that disallows um, doubles from happening. It, I think it's implemented as like a red black tree or some. Oh, it's a self-balancing binary search tree. So they don't make any promises about how the underlying implementation is. But um, there's the map, which is interesting because it's not actually like a hash map as you'd expect in the in the real sense. In that, see so here, it's uh, implemented as a self-balancing binary search tree as well. If you want a hash map directly, you have to define specifically that you want the hash map. Um, so we'll, we'll talk about these. We'll kind of toy around with them. I always liked videos where the instructor would do like very small examples using these because I, don't, I feel like you'll get much more to the point of what these things do and how they behave when you're talking about simple data structures, simple types of data that you're Instead of like I throw you into a huge project and you've got to figure out all this other stuff that's going on in order to understand what a vector is. If I just give you a vector of numbers and we iterate through it, well now you know what a vector is and kind of how it acts. Um, so we'll go through these in the next video. Um, we might talk about the algorithms as well that are built in, just maybe a few here or there. Um, and then again, we'll start looking at boost library stuff as well. So um, I'll see you in the next video where we'll talk about the STL containers.